I've already pre-shuffled and I'll be using two oracle cards for your recent pass. We are the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Once again, those two will be for the recent past. Then I'll go through the present. How your person is seeing you, how you see them, why this is all happening. So Capricorn, we have deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. And then we have growth. On the flip side of this, of this card, it says, accept the lessons when things don't go our way. Something more important to the growth of our soul is in the works. So, Capricorn, in the recent past, someone was probably being deceptive toward you. Or you could have been deceptive towards someone else and it caused a lot of problems. It probably caused a lot of hurt and pain. Like I said, this could have been you being deceptive or the person that you were dealing with at that time. And that's why this card says someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. And then, like I said, we have growth. Um, because there was some pain and hurt because of the lies and um, people not telling the truth, uh, you, you probably grew from that experience. And what this growth card is saying is that you just accept the lessons. Um, things probably didn't go your way because of all the, uh, the lies and the maybe cheating. And the, un and the untruth that was going on in the relationship. So you need to accept that lesson. And you probably realize that it's something that you shouldn't do. You shouldn't be, decept you shouldn't be deceptive. Or if this person was doing this towards you, then you probably just learned a lesson from it. And you um, made sure to... Uh, use the lessons that you had learned into the next relationship. And your soul actually, it grew from the lessons that you learned. And you um, put those lessons, whatever it taught you, you put those into the next relationship. And you knew what not to do or you knew what type of person not to deal with. So, deception and growth. You Overall, you learned lessons in the recent past. Um, being honest and dealing with certain type of people, it was um, something that uh, grew your soul. And so that's what we have for you in the recent past. Now, let's head on over to the present time. Now, we have the Sun card, and then we have the Queen of Wands. Now, with the Sun card... Things are likely to be going really well for you with the Sun card. However, finances, even finances, they're likely to be in good shape. Now that does not mean that you should lose your, lose your focus on what's truly important. And money may or may not be high on the list, but keep your focus at this time. This is a good card for socializing, for meeting new people and getting out and about. If you're looking for a new job at this time, this can signify that it's right around the corner for you. Now, if you're asking about love and relationships and you get the sun card, the relationship, well, the both of you and your lover, you may need more than usual. It may be more than a usual need of space with the sun card. Also, it's not a time to be whiny or clingy or needy. If you're looking for love, it definitely should be on the horizon. Now, this sun card is paired with the Queen of Wands. 
Now this refers to a woman who has a lot of fire. Uh, she could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. If we're not referring to an actual person, it stands for you. Getting a whole lot accomplished. And it could be that you're focused on your work or career. Keep in mind the queen is a very positive, uplifting energy. When this does stand for actual person in your life, she's a really good friend. 100% on your side, even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. And if you're trying to give birth or con conceive at this sign, it's one of the most positive signs that you can get. When it comes to love and relationships, Uh, the queen is very positive when it comes to love and relationships. If you're looking for love, this can mean that you'll meet someone suitable through a light-haired friend or acquaintance. Also, you're probably not in the mood to be on your, ho on your own at this time, so make sure you get out and socialize. Trust yourself, trust the universe to bring you the love and support that you want and need at this time. So... For the present time, we have the Sun card and the Queen of Wands. And basically, these two cards paired together are saying that uh, it's, it is or it's going to be soon a very bright, happy, sunshine feel to your life. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful time for you with the Sun card. Great time to socialize. Just overall happy. Well-being. Very, very good well-being. Even your finances. Um, they'll be in good shape. Or they are right now. They should be in good shape. And be, being the, because it's paired with the Queen of Wands, um, there's someone that's very uh, determined about you. Someone that wants to be on your side, you probably have a really good friend, or maybe your, it could be your mother. She's very, someone very loyal to you, even though they, this person seems a bit self-absorbed. Um, but if you don't know anyone like that now, someone could be coming towards you like that. Uh, they'll be, like I said, a very positive, uplifting person. And if this is no one you're for sure that no one is coming towards you like this. This is you. You're going to start to feel this way um, with the sun card. It's going to uplift you. And um, it'll give you a lot, of, a lot of great positive energy. So let's try to stay focused on what's truly important in your life at this time. Because you'll be getting a whole lot accomplished. So that's what I have for you at the present time. Now, let's move over to how you're, the person that you're dealing with, how they see you. They see you as the Two of Wands and the Page of Wands. Now, to explain the Two of Wands, it's going to be important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can, even to simple, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. Now, this Two of Wands, it also indicates a partnership with another person. This can be business or personal or both. This card it reminds us to stay mindful of the give and take that's required for successful relationships. If things are feeling out of balance for you at this time, just know they're about to get substantially better. So just make sure you keep your eyes on the prize that you're looking for and stay positive. Now with this Two of Wands when it comes to love questions, if you're already in a relationship, it's about to get more equal. Pay attention to your ideals about equality and balance them and share them. If you're looking for a relationship, you're single, someone, could, um, someone who's very good for you, and they're, all, they're probably already a part of your life, and you probably haven't even acknowledged them yet. But this person, they could be really good for you. So don't judge a book by its cover. If someone is interested in you, give them a chance. This relationship could be just what you're looking for. 
So yes, yeah, someone that's, like I said, they're probably already a part of your life. Single Capricorns. Um, yeah, don't judge a book by its cover. They, they'll probably be good for you at this time. So, how your person is seeing you, they see you as this two of wands. They see you as trying to keep balance in the relationship or the connection. They, tr they, tr they see you as trying to have a give and take attitude. Or, you, or you're, you're wanting to have that. You're asking to have a give and take in the connection. Um, they see you as wanting this connection to be more equal. Okay? So, it's paired with the Page of Wands. Now, in the Page of Wands, it speaks about relationships. It's about messages of love and affection that's coming in. It's coming towards you. And if you're single, or you single Capricorns, and you, you got this Page of Wands, it means that a new suitor with whom you have a lot in common with, and who's very adventuresome, Maybe about to burst into your world at this time. Take a chance on them, but only if you're available. If you're committed and you're not happy in the relationship, now is the time to begin to decide if the relationship can be saved and how long you're going to try to make it happen. Both parties have to be willing to work in the relationship, even if your partner isn't. Even if your partner isn't, it might be time to move on. That is, if your partner isn't trying to work on it, it might be try time to move on. So, your person is seeing you, like I said before, um, wanting the relationship be to become a lot more equal. Okay? And they see you as wanting to balance things in the relationship. And because it's paired with a page of wands, uh, they see you as they see you as warm ambish, ambitious and a high achiever and they see you as wanting to continue this connection they see you as wanting to move forward with the connection and they also see um, this connection as probably going in circles a little bit. Um, but they see you with this page of wands as pretty much excited to continue to explore the possibilities that are in the relationships. That they see you as wanting to continue to explore the possibilities of the connection in this relationship. I just wanted to clear that up. So, um, that's how they see you, pretty much. And so, let's move on down and take a look at how you see the person that you're dealing with. You see them as a tower and the nine of pentacles. Now, the tower, it means that someone could be trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. The tower, it also means that you need to roll with the changes. It's likely that some people, situations that you counted on as being there for you may no, no longer be there in quite the same way. This doesn't have to be drastic because change is the nature of life. If we try to prevent it, it's going to be like trying to roll upstream without a paddle. If you've been building castles in the air, at this time, some of, them, some of them might come crashing down to earth. Now keep in mind, that's only a problem if you let it be. You'll be able to replace them with some more realistic, reachable dreams and goals if some fantasies fall apart this month. Dreaming is important. It's also important to be living in a reality. Now when it comes to love and relationships, this tower card it can be, but not necessarily, an indicator of a relationship that's about to end. 
if you are in a relationship that you 100% absolutely positively do not want to see in, this is an important time for damage control and for clear communication. Find out where your partner, find out where their head is, how they're feeling, how they're doing. Don't make assumptions. Find out for sure. So, you see the person that you're dealing with as possibly, possibly you you see the connection as um, something that you've been in, enlightened. Something was exposed uh, and it, in, it enlightened you. It woke you up. It shook you up. Um, something, uh, well, I guess the tower card is about you, you seeing something possibly coming to an end. Uh, so you see them as as possibly the connection may be coming to an end. Or you probably see the connection as just like I said being enlightened by some type of disaster by some type of something that came came crashing down in the in the connection but you were enlightened and you were woken up by whatever happened whatever the situation was so that's how you see the connection that's how you see them and it's paired by the nine of Pentacles now the nine of Pentacles is an excellent time when it comes to love and relationships. If you're committed, you can expect the relationship to rise to new heights of intimacy and joy. If you're single, this card tells you that someone new who has what it takes to be in a meaningful, deep love could be headed your way soon. Okay, so you're seeing them as, or you're seeing the connection as being enlightened by some type of disaster okay it woke it woke it woke the connection up put it that way it woke the connection up but because it's with the nine of pentacles it also because it woke the connection up whatever came down it also with nine, nine of pentacles um whatever came down came crashing down um it turned the relationship around to a new level of intimacy and joy. So, the connection, there was some type of tower moment, but it was for the best, for the very best with this Nine of Pentacles. Because, like I said, um, the relationship, it, it rose to new heights of, of pleasure and happiness. So, that tower was not, not a bad thing, it looks like, because you've got this beautiful nine of pentacles there. Now, that's how you're seeing them. Now, let's move on over and take a look at why it's all happening. We have the seven of swords, and then we have the seven of pentacles. Now, with the seven of swords, you can point to someone who's behaving with less than ethical intentions. It sometimes also means prying into someone's life where you don't belong. If you sense that someone is spying on you, you may be right. If you're tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child, who has given you cause for concern, you might want to rethink the impulse because everyone deserves privacy. When this Seven of Swords talks about relationships, love, if you're in a relationship, um, it's a clear message that trust is crucial. If you're feeling suspicious for some reason about your partner, make it a point to talk about it, even if it's difficult. Because if you decide to be passive aggressive, it's only going to make things worse. And for you single Capricorns, and you get the Seven of Swords in a reading, uh, you could possibly meet someone interesting now. But try to avoid appearing as though you just aren't interested in a relationship. 
because prospective suitors, they will move on to someone who's more engaging. So strive for balance. Okay, so why this is all happening is because we have this Seven of Swords. Someone probably in this connection has some trust issues. So it's causing someone to do something like a lot of sneaky things behind your back. It could be you or the person that you're dealing with, or maybe you're maybe both of you are just a little bit suspicious about certain things. So there's like I said, there's some trust issues here. So so um that's a part of why it's all happening. But it's I say that because it's paired with the Seven of Pentacles. Now the Seven of Pentacles, it points to things going well in the connection. It's going well with the Seven of Pentacles, definitely. If you're single and you get the Seven of Pentacles, you need to be open to other possibilities. And just know that there's more than one person that you can have a great connection with. Don't give in the feelings of suspicion or fear. That's if you're single. Now, this since we're talking about a connection here and why it's all happening, like I said, there's basically some trust issues. Maybe someone in the connection is being manipulative using maybe possibly some strategy tactics and it's causing um, trust problems trust issues and like I said being that it's paired with the seven of Pentacles um, it's, things are going well um, it's paired with the seven of Pentacles it's because um, the two of you or maybe you more than your person or your person more than you really want this connection to work. Someone really, really wants the connection to keep going. They really want it to last. Someone, like I said, either you, your person, or maybe the both of you, deep down inside, you, you both really want to be together. Uh, this, there's a lot of hope for the future with the seven of pentacles but there's still some someone uh, someone is giving someone a cause to not trust but you or your person you, you still want to make it happen yeah so that's what's keeping you guys together and that's why it's all happening so Capricorn I really hope you enjoyed this reading. There will be a link below of the extended and I'll go over a lot more how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what's going to happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell, that way you'll get posted. I'm sorry, that, that way you'll get notified when I post my next reading. I'm wishing you a very happy 2020, and I also hope that you have a beautiful February.